Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. See, we got a lot of cross-dressing going on in society today, right? You got men wearing skirts, men wearing dresses. It's all out of order. The Most High God said it's an abomination. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So Trina, what, did it, what do you think it is that pertains to a man? She is, because because when you put on something that pertains to a man, it puts a different spirit on you. Yeah. Right. Now you think you can fight a man, get in a man's face. Because right. when a woman, all right, what, what, you, you had your hand up. What you what you want to say? Bing 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 bing. Trina, when you go to the bathroom, what do you see on the doors to identify a woman? It says woman, but it shows a picture too. Exactly. So read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So a woman is not supposed to wear that which pertain unto a man. Because what she does, it puts a manly spirit on her. And like you said, women are supposed to be feminine, right? So women with, with the pants. Women like to say that these are woman pants, right? These are women jeans. But they have a zipper. What's the zipper for? Exactly. So in reality, those are uh, clothes for men, right? Okay, those are leggings. What are leggings used for? To wear under dresses and skirts. Leggings, leggings are nothing but another form of pantyhose. Right. That's all they are. But this society, the white man who's running this, said, yeah, you can wear that out in public. Show everything you got to every man. When you're supposed to be showing that to only to your husband. Right. He's the only man that's supposed to be able to see your body. Because look, look. It's all about the desire in your heart. If you're not seeking validation from the world, you will God knows what's in your heart. If I'm not out with my butt out, or if I'm not walking around and I'm covered up, in my mind, to me, I'm not trying to see I'm, not, I'm, I'm living for God and for God. But that, it, it has something to do with your mind. So if a man is like, oh, I'm trying to, like, I'm looking at her, I'm trying to see her body through her clothes. Some men is undressing with, with their eyes. Right. It's all about your heart. I feel like if I'm not out with my sleep, like, I'm covered all the way up. Like, so I just feel like if, if in my mind, I don't, you know, I'm not trying to seek validation or entertain anybody, it's fine. I understand exactly what you're talking about when it comes to, in the Bible, this is what it is. That's what right. And, and that's what we go by. Yeah, absolutely. Because listen, let me, let, me, let me say something to you. Even though you're not looking to do that, there's men that still do that. You know, even if you're not trying to draw that unwanted attention, yeah. but because they can see your shape, now they're starting to look at you. And, and the scripture says, if a man lusts after a female, he already committed adultery. Yeah. So our women are to dress modest. 
look at that. Our women are to dress modest so that they don't tempt the man. And see, that, that's another reason why some of our sisters get raped, right? Because the man see their shape, and, he, and he's enticed by that. And he, he don't think he can have her, so he gonna go take her. The most I gave us these things for a reason, sis. You can get raped by someone who's out of their mind. But That's true. Who doesn't know that doesn't know the love of God, who into the world can rape you. It's, it's like you. It's all about. I feel like it's all about the mindset. It's all about the heart. All right, we we gonna get that in a second. But I want to read this for you real quick. Read the book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. In like manner also that the woman adorn themselves in modest apparel. So God is saying that he wants his daughters to dress in modest apparel. And it's for it's, it's for main reasons, sis. Like, this society is wicked. Over, over the majority of everybody in this world do not walk upright. They don't walk following these, the, the Bible. So it's full of wickedness. So in order, in order to not entice that, the most high God said, read it again. In like manner also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel. So dressing modest is not showing your shape. Because again, like I said, that's for your husband. Now our, our wives, our wives wear none but skirts and dresses. Because that's what God says. And, and remember, we're going over how we love God, right? So get, get for root four and one. Because we have to understand that this here book is our guideline to, uh, what's that phrase they say, uh, basic instructions before leaving earth? That's wrong. It's basic instructions for eternal life, for life eternal. All right, read this. The book of Baruch, chapter four and verse one. Bring it on. This is the book of the commandments of God. shall come to life but such as leave it shall die did y'all hear that this book is the commandment of god that's right everything in it you know he gives us remember when we said uh how if you love me remember that's a heavy word if so when we hear some things and we like, well, I don't know, maybe, you know, because the Christian church, they like to uh, nitpick like it's a, um, what's that, uh, a trail mix, what they want to do out the Bible. But us Israelites, we're required to keep all his statutes, laws, and commandments. Read it again. That's right. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. So these laws endure forever. So when he says the woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man, that's forever. Read. All they that keep it. So all them that keep these laws, statutes, and commandments of this book. Read. Shall come to life. Shall come to life. Because that's why I say this book is what brings us to life. This book is what transforms us. This book is what teaches us how to walk upright and do things that are pleasing to God. Right. This book is what shows us how, this book shows us, shows God that we love him. Read. But such as leave it, but, you hear that word? But such as leave this book, meaning not listen to it, meaning turn your back to it. Read. Shall die. They shall die. So when we come out here to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who they are according to the Bible and to come back to God's laws, statutes, and commandments, we try to save your life. That's right. Now, get Mark 7 21. Because a lot of people like to say, God knows my heart. You know, that, that's, that's Christianity. They love saying that. Right. You know, but what actually is the heart? Does the heart think or is that just a muscle that pumps blood? The heart is just you're correct, sis. So you, so when you say I think or I feel, uh uh, and oh, drop that. Give me a uh, fifty-five and hey, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So when we hear what God say, do we have to make haste to change our minds? Absolutely. You, you know, have to turn away from your sins. Exactly. Yeah, so if He says that a woman shouldn't wear pants, what should you do? 
but in today's society it's like you can you can you can live you you gotta just live for god basically you do you just gotta live for god and do you know what he wants you to do okay we just read that this is the book of uh commandments yeah, and if you do them you come to life all right, all right, check this here out, sis. Because um, that's, that goes into that free will, that this is a new society. But you got to realize, everything that's going on in this, in this Bible was written for today. That's right. So this stuff is for today, not back then, for today. Right. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. Bring it out. And be not conformed to this world. cannot be conformed to this world. Read it again, because that's a heavy script right here. It's a lot going on in this verse right here, sis. Because a lot of us are conformed to this world. We follow what this world say. Before I start following the Bible, I used to shave my face. I used to shave my head. I was conformed to this world. I was going to churches. I was giving my money to the pastor. I was conformed to this world. I was keeping my birthday. I was keeping Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, Fourth of July. I was conformed to this world. But the Bible says, God says, read it again. And be not conformed. He says, be not conformed. So what society says do, God says don't. Read. To this world. To this world, sis. We can't be conformed to this world. Because this world is going to end. That's right. This world is going to end. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we have to be transformed in the renewing of our mind. And the thing that's going to renew our mind and transform us is this Bible. That's why we have to come back to this. Give me Revelations 1 and 3. We have to come back to this book, sis. We can't be conformed to what this world say, do. This world said leggings you can wear out in public. God says he wants his daughters to dress a princess. Have you, in, in the uh, TV shows, the cartoons, have you ever seen a princess wearing leggings? They wear dresses, right? Because they're princesses. That's what you are. You are a princess, so you should dress as one. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.